It was foolish of you to come here tonight, Tom. The orders are on their way. Michael Gambon may be best known for his role in Harry Potter, but he leaves behind a prolific body of work spanning decades, genres and generations. Gambon was born in 1940 in a working class neighbourhood of Dublin. He moved to London with his family just after the Second World War. I was Irish and then I heard people talking English like that, you know. So I started talking like that. <laughs> oh, hello, so lovely to see you. A local socialist theatre was his introduction to acting. He then became a founding member of the National Theatre in London. That was the start of one of the most prolific careers on the West End. For his roles on London stages, he was nominated for a record 13 Olivier Awards, winning three. At the same time, he was taking on challenging parts in film and television. He won critical acclaim for his performances in groundbreaking works like the BBC series The Singing Detective. Look, this is a dream. Always a critical darling, it wasn't until his mid-60s that Michael Gambon became a global star. But in the end, only one will go down in history. That's when he took on the role of wise wizard Albus Dumbledore in the Harry Potter films. He put on all that costume and the makeup with the beard on the wig, and it suddenly that sort of takes over the image of the character, the half-moon glasses, the lots of gold rings, and it's infectious. After his death at age 82, the theatre and film worlds are mourning him as one of the greatest actors of his generation.